Hi, my name is Paulie Sarantino. I'm the spokesperson for the East Coast Division of Magnavox Entertainment. And right now, we're gonna introduce Magnavox Odyssey 2, baby. Best home entertainment system of all time. It's the Odyssey 2. Two is better than one. And we're at number two. It's the year 1978, baby. And we're gonna get crazy. We're gonna get crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just reading a little bit about um, KC Munchkin. Oh, my goodness. It's incredible. I'm a big video game fan. I used to have arcade machines in my own home. I got rid of them all. I don't have a single Atari. I don't have a single on television because they all suck. They all suck fucking tits. This system is just going to blow the doors off of everything else that's currently available. Look at this magnificent hunk of beauty right here. We get elegant design, all crafted and placed right here to be placed in your living room. That's right, okay. Everything we have here that was designed was designed with the utmost care from the engineers here at Magnavox. Oh my Lord. Right now we got a power button right here. We got the beautiful Magnavox logo. So it, you know, it showcases, it showcases who, who, um, who, who designed it. And then we got a power button. And listen, listen to this. Let me do that again. There is a full functioning keyboard. There is a keyboard with fantastic futuristic design where the keys are actually flat panel pads. That's right, it's a flat panel pad. You don't hear clicks, you don't hear whistles, there's no squeaks, there's no pops. You're not gonna be waking up your little boy and girl at night because you are playing on the most sophisticated computer. It's gonna be years and years until anything outclasses the Odyssey 2. <laughs> Probably when the Odyssey 3 comes out, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah! Right here, there's full functioning commands. So you can actually use this machine not only for video game entertainment, no, no, no. But also for educational purposes. Listen, we all get it. It's 1978. The last thing you want to be doing is helping out little Johnny or Joe with their homework. God, no, that sounds terrible. So instead you can pick up a fantastic educational cartridge, plop it right in the Odyssey 2, and let them go at it. All the information and all the requirements that they need right here. That's right, we have a plus sign, we have a minus sign, we have a, um, a, a multiplication sign, and then we have that one, that one right there, that one's for uh, for math. See, there's gonna be, uh, they're gonna be asking some questions. They're gonna say, hey, little Billy, uh, hey, the, there was three turtles that went up the fucking hill, right? And the one turtle fucking said, ah, this shit sucks, and he slid on down, and um, and then uh, they the put in the answer, and then, and then um, yes or no, and then they... But as good as that sounds, Let's talk about something a little bit better, right? The video games! Oh, yeah! Atari and the Intellivision. It's gonna blow the games into little shit bricks. That's right, little shit bricks, okay. If you have an Intellivision, throw it away. That's right, yeah, throw the fucking thing away. If you have an Atari, the wood, the wood panel looks good, but listen guys, get with the times. That's old news. Toss that shit away, you don't need that. You need to get a Magnavox Odyssey 2. That's all you're gonna need. And the controls, the joysticks, the action right here. Look at this, all right. You get two paddles right here. Two joystick paddles that are just, they're just aching and they're just yearning to be played with. They just want to have fun, yeah. You move around like this, eight different directions and oh God, the spring mechanism and the tension that I feel when I'm twisting this bad boy around. Quality, quality. You're gonna be controlling your little person and you're gonna be loving every second of it. No errors and there's gonna be no mistakes, that's right. It just blows the Atari 2600 out of the water. I mean, look at their joystick. Yeah, it, it, it's a joystick that's kind of like this one, a little bit, 
but it's not good. No, it's bad. It's shitty. It doesn't play good. You're always messing up. It feels all loosey goosey. I don't like it. You know you don't like it. And if you think you like it, oh boy, you're going to be changing your mind when you're playing the Odyssey 2. On the Atari, there's a little red button, right? A little circular red button. You hit that bad boy usually to perform an action, to perform an action, but not always. Sometimes you you get a little confused, right? You're not, you're not sure what that button is for. I know I get confused. That's why the fantastic, very smart, brainiac engineers down at Magnavox, they gave us a joystick that has the red button, but it actually tells you what, what it does. It says action right on there. Yeah, it says action. Oof. Boom! You hear that? Boom, boom! Lightning fast responses. Boom, boom, boom! If you don't have any friends, that's all right. If you don't have any friends, you can get two of these bad boys, two action buttons, two fingers. God, you'll be getting high scores. I'm guaranteeing right now that you are gonna find this to be the most fantastic way to control any of the games you play. Forget about those old systems and the Intellivision. Oh my God, what the, what is that thing? Oh, it's a piece of shit. Now earlier I was reading the instruction manual about uh, uh, on <clears throat> KC, KC Munchkin. Look at that game right there. Original, innovative, one of a kind. It truly does not look like any other game that's ever come out. Everything about it is just completely new. Let me tell you about it a little bit. How many munchies can your munchkin munch before your munchkin's all munched out? Oh boy, that has a good little ring to it, right? Oh my God, it has a bunch of mazes. The more munchies your munchkin munches, the harder it is to keep your munchkin from getting munched up by one of the munches. Oh, skill levels increase automatically to create increased challenge as you play. The computer will generate different mazes completely on its own. Is this thing alive? That's the kind of power we're talking about. That's the power here in the Magnavox Odyssey 2. Even invisible mazes ready for you when you turn pro. Oh, invisible mazes, you can't see anything. That sounds fun. It's ahead of its time and it's one of a kind. Really good. The next two games I'm gonna show you are direct responses to the crazy Space Invader phenomenon. Who needs that shit? Space Invaders, okay, you're, you're on space. You gotta invade the invaders. Sounds boring. Listen, this is what's really gonna get you going. Fuck Space Invaders. We got better shit right here. We got invaders from hyperspace. More words, more things that are happening, more badass artwork on the cover. It's just totally fucking awesome. And I played it. I'll tell you, I got an inside scoop. Space what? Space in what? what? This video comes out, you know, and, and they put it in the vault and you know, 30, 40, 50 years later, they're gonna, they're gonna watch this and they're gonna, they're gonna be saying to themselves, Space Invaders, what the fuck is that? And then um, if you wanna play something like it, but it's a little different, the colors I think are different, we got Cosmic Conflict. Conflicts in space, oh boy, who woulda thought? Oh, that's right. Pick, axe, Pete. Thrills, chills, and spills as picks, axe. Oh, it's a tongue twister. Thrills, chills, and spills as pickaxe Pete strikes it rich in the Misty Mountain Mine. Oh, so you play the role as Pete, who's a picks, <clears throat> Pete, who's a pickaxe expert. You're going through all these elaborate, extraordinarily detailed mazes, and you're trying to get to the, um, the, the, the top of the entire, uh, the maze, uh, very original, and it doesn't look like any other game that's ever come out before it. You guys having fun with your invaders from hyperspace? You guys having a lot of fun with your cosmic conflict? Oh, I bet you are, but guess what? Here at Magnavox, we're thinking outside of the box, and we already have a sequel lined up for you. That's right, boom, baby, alien invaders, Plus, it's not Space Invaders, it's fucking Alien Invaders. There's aliens, which you already know by default that you're, you're in space because there's no aliens here. Plus, plus just usually means, you know, plus, adding. So we're adding to the already amazing concept that's Alien Invaders. Look at that! Right here. I bet the whole time you guys are watching this video, you're like, oh my goodness, what is that giant, glorious box? that's hanging out in the back. I'll tell you right now, guys, it's the great 
Wall Street fortune hunt. Look at that. Expanded memory cartridge. These big fuckers are expanded memory cartridges. That means they have more memory than the standard cartridge, and that means more is better. Better is more fun. More fun means you're having a great fucking time, and a great fucking time <laughs> means the Odyssey too. Yeah. So what you do, um, I don't really know. It has to do with Wall Street and money. Uh, you get a bunch of fucking chips in there that are like Monopoly money. See? You can hear them rattling around. Um, I, 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 I'm not much of a, you know, this is, this is a little too sophisticated for Polly. I'll be honest. I, uh, it, it looks great. Actually, I know it's great because it's called The Great Wall Street Fortune Hunt. Um, but I, I, I never played it, so I'm hoping you guys out there can teach me. Come on by, teach me how to play this, get my brain working, right? Get my brain working because the people here at Magnavox... They're so ahead of the time that even myself, I, I don't even, I can't even play the fucking thing. Look, I'm saving the best for last. The game that will never be forgotten. It's a game that when I was first shown a demonstration of this bad boy, I was floored. I truly thought that we were going to do a whole video on this game. It's that good. It's that revolutionary. What am I talking about? Monkey shines. Yeah, that's right. Monkey shines. Computerized monkeys, unlimited action, trillions of combinations. Pfft, everyone's going to go ape. That's right. It's so much fun. It's a bunch of puzzle games. That's right. A bunch of puzzle games that's filled with action-packed monkey business. I'm not just making that up. It's right there on the fucking box. We got monkey tag, monkey chess, tailspin, shut eye, and bananas. Bananas, monkeys like bananas. Run, jump, climb, tease, dive, swing, hop, spin, scamper. That's a lot of fucking actions. I think the guys in Madden Box need a new joystick. We need eight action buttons for all those things. Where's the scamper button? Where's the hop button? This thing is so good. I don't even think it's... The Odyssey 2 might not even be ready for Monkey Shines. I'm kidding you. Of course it's ready. It's in there right now. It's in there right now. Monkey Shines. That's right. Monkey Shines. I was playing it. I can't stop thinking about it. It's the best thing ever. There will probably never be a video game that's going to that's gonna surpass Monkey Shines. And if there is, you know who's making it? We're making it, baby. When the time comes, you want a little entertainment in your life? You want a little fun? This is it. This is it, baby. The Magnavox Odyssey 2. You will know you made the right purchase the first time you grab one of these impressive hunks of plastic by the handle here. God, what a design. And you just drop clunk that little guy in there. Game over, baby. Till next time.